Florence is a 24-year-old British female. She was admitted to the hospital with complaints of recurrent epistrixis, progressive weakness, shortness of breath with minimal physical effort. She has experienced recurrent fever reaching 38.2 degrees Celsius. She has no past medical history and there is no family history of hematological disorders. Upon physical examination, she showed pale skin, good nutritional status and no acute distress. There is no lymphadenopathy or hepatosplenomegaly. Many petechial hemorrhages cover her chest and legs. Several bruises are found on her legs and thighs. The patient denies sinus congestion, throat pain, cough, nausea, emesis, melina or hematuria. Different laboratory tests were ordered on admission. Blood results revealed peripheral pancytopenia. The hemoglobin count was 5.2 grams per deciliter. The WBC count was 1200 per microliters of blood. The platelet count was 5000 per microliter of blood. And there was less than 1% of reticulocytes in the peripheral blood. Then the patient was referred to the hematologist who ordered a bone marrow exam. The aspirate obtained for evaluation which showed a markedly hypocellular marrow with very few hematopoietic cells. Cells present consisted of lymphocytes, plasma cells and stromal cells. Taking into account the findings from blood and marrow tests, the doctor proposed aplastic anemia as the most probable suspected diagnosis. How will you further move towards the right diagnosis? What type of special laboratory tests will you perform to confirm the diagnosis? What disease your Florence is suffering from? And how will you treat Florence? It will be easier to answer these questions when you have a thorough understanding of bone marrow failure syndromes. Scaria.com is bringing you a complete lecture of more than 40 minutes on bone marrow failure syndromes, along with short clips for quick learning. You can watch these videos on Scaria.com to solve this case study. Simply go to Scaria.com, subscribe and get a free trial of two days.